Chest fire, chest fire. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel, Benzo here, I got a really cool awesome video for you today. This is going to be a showcase of one of my favorite mods of all time, definitely my top three since I've had my YouTube channel for the last six years, and that is going to be Grammar Police. Now Grammar Police came out a year and a half ago, but it's about to have a major upgrade uh, tomorrow, December the 5th, 2021, and you guys are going to want to get this, trust me on this, because Grammar Police is being merged into Immersive Dispatch. So we're gonna have Immersive Dispatch along with Grammar Police. It's got a lot of really cool menu systems and I can't wait to show you in today's video. If you guys like this style of content, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new guys. I would greatly appreciate that and leave a comment down below as it helps it rank a little bit higher on YouTube algorithms. Let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Now, if you guys want me to show you how to install Grammar Police into the proper folders and also how to ma maybe manipulate the plugin to even make it even more cool for you, then by all means, make sure you make a comment down below. That's the only way I'm going to know if you want to see a tutorial like that. Uh, of course, tutorials like that usually are pretty in-depth, so just kind of be aware of that. This particular video here is just a showcase of the new functionality with Grammar Police that is coming out tomorrow, December the 5th, which you guys are definitely going to want to get. So on the screen right now, you're going to see a lot of the new features that are coming with, with Grammar Police. We have a on-screen interface, and here's another cool feature right here. If you try to use Grammar Police and you just can't get your microphone to work, for some reason your microphone just it just doesn't understand you with your with your PC or laptop, and you just can't get it to work. You can't uh, get you know Grammar Police to understand you, or there's some other conflict. Maybe you don't even have a microphone. It doesn't matter because. Uh, Opus 49 and Ben H has created a menu system for you guys that you can actually go through a menu system with everything that's going to be inside Grammar Police that you can actually do through a menu system, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go over that with you in just a moment. Another cool thing is agency codes. So this only works for English language like uh, English US or English Great Britain. Uh, they, uh, he has included a, about three or four folders for you that you can use. Uh, these are going to be more related to TIN codes, so police agency TIN codes. So for example, California, they have their own TIN codes. Uh, there's going to be a generic type of folder, you know, with, which, which is the one I use. Uh, it's going to have different TIN codes. And there's also Metropolitan, and then there's Immersive. So if you're used to using Immersive Dispatch and those TIN codes that are in there, you would use those folders. And once again, that would uh, be more detailed on, on the installation process. He actually included an FAQ also inside the download. So if you're just not sure how to install certain things or how certain things work, Opus 49 has already done that. But like I said, if you want to see a tutorial by myself, uh, I can probably break it down as well. Just let me know down below. But that's some uh, really cool things. You can get some agency uh, 10 codes for that. We also have hotkeys. These hotkeys are awesome, guys. So you can actually create a hotkey inside the config file and uh, you can do it on the fly so that way you don't have to even say it through a microphone or even go through a menu system so you can use your keyboard to do a hotkey for certain things such as traffic control it is so awesome to be able just to hit a hotkey and then stop all traffic slow to all traffic clear all traffic it's really awesome another cool thing is uh, the immersive dispatch like i said has been incorporated into grammar police and then you can actually enable jail waypoints by saying certain things through uh, Grammar Police, which we're gonna demonstrate in just a moment. Uh, you can also do traffic stops with immersive type properties to it, which we'll go over that in, in a little bit as well. Uh, and there's a few other things on there which we're gonna go over. And then the other thing is uh, for backup as well. So you can have immersive backup uh, whenever the dispatch asks ask you whether you need backup. So that's the cool thing. We're gonna be demonstrating most of this in today's video. And then also additional actions like radio checks, uh, vis visual on suspect, fight in progress, person injured, person deceased, suspect in custody, these kind of things where I'm gonna show you all, these, all this in today's video. I'm gonna be doing heavy editing, so that way it's really quick. And then uh, you know that way you can kind of get a just as to what the showcase is gonna be about. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with today's video and I hope you like it, let's go. So we're gonna go through the menu system really fast. It's gonna be left control F2. 
and there's a lot of things to cover so i'm just going to cover most of these things kind of briefly so display settings is really cool uh show notifications that has to do with the right above the mini map uh, the show, show lo player location uh, status, now that is below the player location display. If you look to the right of the mini map, you'll see an address that is player location display, PLD. That's on my recommended plugin list, by the way. Below that, you'll see a status right there. A lot of people ask me, you know, where do I get that? How, what is that status symbol? Uh, that is the status right there, so you can turn that off and on. Uh, target plate has to do with, like, say, the, pl the car in front of me. You'll see the actual plate right there, really cool. And then you can actually change the position, really nice. And you can make it go up and down. And you can make it go big or small, pretty nice. All right, so we're gonna back this up in the PTT settings real fast. The hold to talk, I would uh, probably encourage you to go ahead and leave that as yes, so that way you could talk to dispatch longer. Uh, show in car animation, that has to do with the radio. You can watch my character inside. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Set to no, sorry, here we go, set to yes. Okay, so that's uh, that's the in-car animation. Another another thing too is the push sound. Uh, this is the PTT sounds, push to talk sounds. You can actually change these. Just use your arrow key on your, you know whenever you're doing the menu. Pretty cool. Here's the release sounds. And the preference sounds. Uh, this is pretty cool too. This is how dispatch will actually you know, uh, referred to you as. Sam and once again, you can you can configure your call sign through the config file. And once again, that is covered in the actual installation video. So uh, there is no installation video for the newer version, but if you guys want to see it, like I said, make sure you make a comment down below. This is dispatch. Okay, and then here's the new one right here. Go ahead. So that's pretty cool, right? So uh, we're going to go ahead and back this out. And then these are immersive settings. Uh, this will help you initiate a pursuit, and then uh, dispatch will ask if you need backup. Uh, if you have a suspect, in, you know, in custody, for example, it will. Uh, if you say a certain, you know, uh, command, for example, it will guide you to the nearest jail point, which is pretty cool. Uh, enable traffic stops. What that does is uh, dispatch will, you know, uh, you know, treat that as a person pulled over, and then you can, they will check on your status, which actually has to go right here officer check interval they'll actually check in on you uh, i've got it set for about uh let's, let's go ahead and do two minutes for demonstration for today actually we'll do one minute so that way i can listen to dispatch they'll check in on the status make sure i'm okay and then i'll show you what to do with that in, in a little bit here and we'll go through that uh, handle death is kind of cool if you die on a traffic stop or if you die in a shootout uh the they'll actually code for the call which is kind of cool because it'll keep the plugins from crashing on you so much and then the generic response, if dispatch doesn't quite understand you, it thinks it does, but not really, uh, it'll give you a generic response, which is a, a really nice thing instead of just a little text on the screen. So that's pretty cool. Uh, backup settings, I went ahead and just left these backup settings. Uh, so if you're like on scene, for example, you know, uh, they'll ask you if you need backup. If you say taser deployed, uh, they, they'll probably send backup for you. And if you have a suspect in custody, they will ask you if you want prisoner transport. And then when you get done with most of these things, you can uh, you know, save your configuration, which is really nice. So another cool thing that he added in here is since you don't really need a microphone you know, with Grammar Police, uh, you don't have to. If you've had microphone issues in the past, uh, you, and if you can't get it to work with Grammar Police, he's got your back. Uh, you've got a whole menu system now set up with Grammar Police. Super, super cool. So everything I just showed you, uh, things that you want from dispatch, things like that, and you just can't seem to get it, then you can go through a menu system. So the default key is uh, left control F3. Now, unfortunately that's binded to my trainer key. I went ahead and made mine uh, left control F5. So you may wanna do that if you download this. Uh, totally up to you, of course. So we're gonna go through this really fast. Uh, so this right here, these are advisory type of things. So if you happen to stumble upon a fight, you can, you can click on the menu here. So if you see a fight in progress, I'm gonna show you real fast. This is the way I'll demonstrate in case I, you don't have a microphone. So if you see a fight in progress, for example. Check for copy. And backup required. So they wanna know if backup's required. So then what you do is you can say negative or affirmative. Check for copy. Okay, so it's gonna take a little bit of you know, getting used to the menus, but it's totally worth it. If you do not have a microphone or, if, or maybe your microphone is poor quality, these kinds of things, 
and you just can't get it to work, then you'd want to use the menu system. It is so cool to be able to use a menu system now with Grammar Police for those that are having all kinds of issues with their microphone. So we're going to go ahead and get started with today's video. I'm going to go through a lot of these scenarios with you and I hope you guys enjoy this. It's going to be a lot of heavy editing. There's not going to be a lot of me talking. I'm just going to demonstrate what these things look like in game. Requesting a radio check. Same 81. We have an injured civilian. It's gonna be a Vestici Boulevard Center Street. Affirmative. It's gonna be a Vestici Boulevard Center Street, 1948. Taser deploy. Assistance required in mission row. Dispatch, we have suspect in custody. Attention all units, suspect in custody. Sam in B1 is transport required. Affirmative. It's going to be near Vespucci Boulevard and Strawberry Avenue. I have one in custody, Center Street, San Andreas Avenue. Attention all units, suspect apprehended. Sam, in B1 is transport required. Negative, I'm gonna be returning to the station with suspect. 10-4. Show me returning to station with suspect, it's gonna be 115 WFA. Dispatch, show me on scene, Center's Passage, San Andreas Avenue. 10 4 in backup required. Affirmative, we may have a DOA, San Andreas Avenue, Center's Passage. Assistance needed in Textile City. Copy that, we're in the vicinity. Dispatch, we have a DOA. It's going to be San Andreas Avenue, Center's Passage. 10-4. Negative. 10-4, copy. Requesting CSI, San Andreas Avenue, Center's Passage. Dispatch, you can cancel checks. I'm all good. 10 4, copy that. Show me available tonight. Attention all units, code 4, no additional support needed. Dispatch requesting call ID for the DOA out here in San Andreas Avenue. 10 4, copy. Dispatch, we have a fight in progress. Center's passage. Affirmative. We have a civilian injured, C Center's Passage, San Andreas Avenue. I do believe this is going to be Trevor Phillips, got KTFO'd. 10-4. Affirmative. Ambulance. Assistance required in, uh, 
Oh, Trevor. You got knocked the fuck out, man! Sorry, had to. Hello. Later, Trevor. Hope you recover soon so I can rest you. Same, anyone. Show me in a traffic stop. It's going to be for a white yoga style vehicle, St. Andreas Avenue, eastbound. Requesting 28, it's going to be 83 Ida Lincoln, Ocean 667. Dispatch requesting code 3 backup. We're going to be uh, performing a code 5. We're going to get the uh, suspect out by gunpoint. St. Andreas Avenue, 2046. It's going to be occupied one time. Backup needed in Little Soul. Roger that. We're on our way. Trust fire, trust fire. Dispatch, be advised, suspects down, San Andreas Avenue. Suspects down. Affirmative. Uh, go ahead and stage them uh, eastbound San Andreas Avenue and roll them in. Get about one mic here. Secure the weapon. Ambulance. Assistance required in Little Soul. Dispatch clear all traffic San Andreas Avenue. Now you can also do hotkeys, guys, uh, within the configuration file. So if I wanted to do, go ahead and just do this right here, that's all hotkeyed. You can configure that through the config file that stopped right there, except for the tow trucks, emergency vehicles. I can clear it. And then I can also slow it. Pretty cool. We're gonna clear it again. Attention all units, traffic control cleared. Dispatch requesting code three backup, Prosperity Street. Backup required in the Sushi Canal. Requesting air unit, Palomino Avenue. Dispatch requesting stop sticks, southbound Interstate 5, we're going over the bridge. Going to be in the number one lane. Dispatch be advised, we got all four tires. Dispatch, show me in a Traffic stop, eastbound Mutiny Road. Go ahead. Requesting 28, it's going to be 401 William Nora Ocean 487. Suspect's license plate 41 William Nora Ocean 487. A warrant issued. Proceed with caution. Dispatch, we have a four door sedan, white in color, occupied one time. Affirmative. 
going to be a positive 29. Backup needed in Zogporta. Dispatch to Sam 81. Report. I'm okay. Uh, we have another unit arriving on scene behind me now. Ten four. Hey, he's got a warrant for his arrest for brandishing a deadly weapon. I got the cover. And a runner. Dispatch, show me in pursuit. Going to be in northbound Brogue Avenue. See how it put me in pursuit that way? Dispatch requesting air unit. It's going to be on a Phoenix occupied one time northbound Jamestown Street. Speed's about 40 miles an hour. We're taking left. Gonna be on Little Bighorn Avenue. Dispatch Air Unit over Rancho. Dispatch requesting pit maneuver. Attention Unit Sam 81. Dispatch Air Unit Sam 81. Dispatch Air Unit Sam 81. All the way down, man. Dispatch, be advised, you got suspect again. Point's going to be a BMA gray jacket. Integrity Way, Center Street. We have one in custody. Negative. Ten four, copy that. Dispatch, show me to ninety five Grove Street. Go ahead. Requesting twenty eight eight two William Edward Zebra nine four five. Occupied one time. It's going to be a two door silver picador. Ten four. Shots fired, shots fired. The hell, man. Show me in pursuit. It's going to be that picador. He just took a left on Grove Street. Some bitch just shot at me. Dispatch be advised, just took a right into just took a left of the parking garage. Request an air unit. Requesting roadblock, Strawberry Avenue. Okay, we got a roadblock, guys. We got him. Look at this roadblock. Oh, <laughs> that's an accident, accident, accident. <laughs> Oh man. 
and he came out sort of shooting at us. Accident, man. Caught up at the moment. Dispatch, we have suspect down Carson Avenue. Multiple GSWs. Affirmative. Dispatch, stop all traffic. We need traffic control. Carson Avenue. Just block it all off. Uh, going eastbound. Dispatch, show me 10-6. Dispatch, show me on a mill break, Strawberry Avenue, Vanilla Unicorn. Copy that, Sam, Indeed one Alright guys, that's going to go ahead and end today's video, and I hope you guys enjoyed the actual showcase for Grammar Police merged with, uh, you know, Immersive Dispatch coming out tomorrow, December the 5th, 2021. Thank you for liking the video, I really do appreciate that. Make a comment down below as it helps it rank a little bit higher on YouTube. And I really do appreciate that. And then once again, this particular mod will ship with uh, the California folder, the generic folder, the Metro Police, and Immersive Dispatch 10 codes. So I can kind of picture some modders may actually make their own folders for different police agencies 10 codes. So I can picture some modders doing that in the future. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and we'll see you in the next patrol. Stay safe. Three shots fired. Shots fired. Three boy three. Shots fired. Three John. Three John. What do you fire here? Shots fired.